Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're doing something a little bit different and that includes my phone. I broke this phone a few months back and I've been using it. And some of you that watch some of my videos know that I've been recording my videos on this phone and it's been overheating, shutting off. And I did buy one iPhone 8 Plus that uh, I got and the camera wasn't working. So then I had to return that, got my money back for that. Then I bought another one and I need a specific iOS software to be on that phone, which, uh, which is 11.3. And I asked the person that was selling it and they said it does have 11.3. When I got it, it had 11.4. The reason I need 11.3 is because my phone is jailbroken and 11.3 is the last one that can be jailbroken. And so when I got that one, he said it was 11.3, but when I got it, it's 11.4. So I returned that one and I'm waiting for my money back. Meanwhile, waiting for that phone, I picked up another one on eBay and the guy said it's 11.3 and I told him not to update to 11.4 and he said he will not. So I'm going to wait for that one and that should be here in a few days. While I'm waiting for that phone to arrive, I'm going to try to fix this phone. This is iPhone 7 Plus, and I already got the screen. And also what I'm gonna do is replace the battery on the phone as well. All right, so let's crack this iPhone open and uh, replace the screen and the battery. All righty, so let's go. Well, something really crazy happened. The battery pretty much exploded, I guess. It, it started smoking like crazy, caught fire, got all red. Part of the motherboard got red also. I grabbed the phone as fast as I could. I took it outside, left it out there. After about maybe 10 minutes, I put it in the freezer. Because even after 10 minutes, the frame of the phone was so hot that you couldn't hold it. I was sure that the phone was toast. I was sure that I was going to save anything on the phone and I had a bunch of videos on there and pictures and so on. And the projects that I was doing, all that stuff was on there. I was just so bummed out. And now I'm going to try to see if I can fix it.
and I was shocked that it actually powered on and everything works with no issues. All the buttons work, no issues whatsoever. I was really, really shocked. Uh, I didn't expect that at all. Uh, so it's a blessing. It was a mistake on my part by trying to pry the battery too hard, uh, but that made him so thin and so flexible and the adhesive is holding the battery so strongly that it was almost impossible to pry it out. I guess they made it on purpose like that so people don't mess with the phones too much. In my case, I had to pay the price a little bit. Sorry for the delay in videos. This is one of the reasons why. And also wife went to France on a business trip. So I'm kind of stuck with the kids here and there, take them to parents, go to work, so on. So I'm trying to do the F-350 at the same time. It's taken a bit longer than I expected. So I'm stretched out a little too thin, but I'll do the best I can. And then I'll try to get the F-350 content out to you guys in a couple days. And then once a uh, wife gets back from um, Paris, we'll get more stuff going. Once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the like button. And if you got any questions or comments, let me know. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See you.